Have you been looking for a luxury modern home right here in Eagle, Idaho, where on the inside you have all of the clean lines, the modern minimalist aesthetic, but on the outside you're getting the lush landscaping, you're getting more of that acreage rural Idaho feel? This is the one for you. What's up guys, I'm Chase Dolan, your Boise Realtor, and today I am standing out here in North Eagle in front of this absolutely gorgeous new construction home built by Eco Builders. This is gonna be a four bed, four and a half bath, just over 3,800 square feet. Behind me, you can see it's got a big three car garage. You're gonna have a balcony. You're gonna have a ton of great outdoor space, outdoor kitchen, you're gonna have a pool, and you're on a lot that is just under one acre. There's a lot to love about this one, so I'm excited to show you. Let's start heading in. Over here, you're gonna see that on your third bay, you've got the nice wood paneling accent. You've got stone facade all over the exterior of this house. Outside, you're gonna see a lot of this cedar wood plank kind of accent underneath all of your overhangs, kind of all around the house, both here on your front porch and then in the back area. As you come onto your front porch, you're gonna have two big stone pillars. You're gonna have a nice raised overhang with again that cedar planking. As we enter inside, you've got these big picture windows on both sides of this massive glass see-through front door. Right as you come in, you're gonna notice that they didn't waste any square footage on some sort of long entryway hallway. This one goes directly into this absolutely gorgeous main area. So you're gonna have big 14 foot high ceilings, more windows on both sides to let in all of the natural light. Throughout the entire main area with the fireplace here, you're gonna have the kitchen over here. You're gonna notice that they've got these gorgeous oak engineered hardwood floors all throughout. The only place that you're gonna have carpet is in the bedrooms. Let's head over this way. So everything behind me, we're gonna get into your primary master suite. So over here, you're gonna have your laundry room, but we're gonna loop back around to that because it does connect to your walk-in closet. Here you've got your primary bedroom. Plenty of space, king bed, furniture, you can have a chair in the back, big picture windows looking out to that backyard and that pool area. As we come into your primary bathroom, you're gonna have a big soaker tub here, nice custom niche put into the wall, big, big windows here on the corner. You're gonna have your quartz countertop, same custom cabinetry that's gonna be throughout the home. You're gonna notice that they use this a lot for a lot of cool accents inside your closets. They did a really good job trying to keep everything nice and flowy because again, we're going for that clean, modern aesthetic. Here, you're gonna have your big walk-in shower. All along the sides and the floor of this bathroom, you have large format, oversized rectangular tiles, water closet, you got some extra built-in storage, and then you come into your walk-in closet. So again, same material that they use for all of the cabinetry throughout the home. You've got all of the half and halves. You've got some shelving. They even gave you some drawers inside your closet. And then you're connected right into your laundry room. So this is where your washer and dryer would go, cabinetry up top. They have some nice custom kind of built-ins to their cabinets, sink, quartz countertop, laundry room, uh, clothes hamper, I guess, pull out. You all know that I'm a sucker for trash pull outs, so I guess I'm a sucker for those too. I haven't really seen one of those built in, but I like it. As we come back into your main area, we're gonna head into the little closet den that they have. So this is a good workspace. This is a good space to store a piano, whatever it is that fits your lifestyle, but you've got this big glass wall here. So again, plenty of natural light. You're not feeling like you're stuck in a closeted office. Here, you're gonna have a nice, large stone surrounded fireplace with a mantle on top and on bottom. Again, this actually matches your wood floor on the bottom, keeping everything nice and put together. Over in the corner, you're gonna have a nice big bench I do wanna point these out. So these are all throughout the house. These are your actual air intake vents. 
but they use kind of the more luxury ones that are built in and they use your flooring. So you don't waste a two and a half million dollar home and you put those white kind of grates on it. Small things, but they matter. Here, you're gonna head outside. We've got the big double doors going out to your backyard, which we will go to in a second. Because first, I wanna show you this kitchen. Right behind me, you're gonna see that they've got this nice dining area, big dining table, nice luxury kind of designer light fixture. All throughout the house, you're gonna see those same kind of faceted globes, glass, in a lot of the small light fixtures, chandeliers, etc. Over here, you're gonna have a big kind of bar area. You're gonna have a large, large island. They did kind of a modern take on a waterfall edge, so you're gonna have courts all the way around. You're gonna have high-end appliances, Fisher and Paykel. You've got your oven, convection oven, microwave setup over here. Right here, you've got your big cabinet-faced fridge and freezer. Coming over, you've got your five burner gas cooktop custom vent hood, which they made one big line because again, we're trying to point out those clean lines throughout this house. You've got a ton of storage on this side of the island. And then over here, since your island is just a big slab and it's built for entertaining, whatever you wanna do, that's where you can put out your hors d'oeuvres. Right here is gonna be your big single basin sink. You've got again, cabinet facing, dishwasher. You've got the first of two trash pullouts right here because as you come in you actually have a dedicated butler's pantry. So you're gonna have a beverage wine fridge, ton of built-in shelving, same quartz countertops, small little drink sink, and trash pullout number two. Right outside of the butler's pantry you're gonna come outside and you're gonna see that they've got this outdoor kitchen set up with the built-in grill, kind of a leathered granite countertop. Here, you're gonna get a nice view of the entire back patio. So this thing stretches for a majority of the home. You've got the same cedar planking on the top, nice dining space here. This is gonna be the entryway into your dining room. So you've got three ways to get in and out of your house to your back patio. On the back, what you can see is like I mentioned at the beginning, they built this home in a very mature part of Eagle. So you've got some of these massive trees already done. So you're getting new construction, but you're getting the lush that comes with homes that have been around 15, 20, 30 years. It's a nice combination. Right here, you've got a big, I guess, gathering space. You're getting the picture. You've got a lot of space here for you to have all of your outdoor fun. And then on this side, one of the highlights of this home is you have got this big pool area. Nice custom pool already put in the ground with plenty of concrete going around. And then as you come back this way, we're gonna head right back inside through your big double doors coming into your main area and right back into that kitchen. So if you're somebody that likes that indoor outdoor living, I don't know if I'm glistening just a little bit. We are in the middle of a crazy hot summer now, so maybe not use quite as much, but here indoor outdoor living, being on the patio, keeping your windows open, you can do that for about nine, eight to nine months a year, I would say pretty standardly. So having this is a big, big win. As we come back through your kitchen, again, this is gonna be a nice bar area for all of the stuff that you want to show off. We are in the middle of your main space, so this is the one that you wanna keep nice and pretty and designed. But let's say that you have a really extensive coffee bar setup that you absolutely love, but it can get to be a little bit much. You don't want that to be the first thing everybody sees. You've got a second bar tucked back here, a little bit more private. You've got the same kind of countertop going up as your backsplash, built-in floating shelves, cabinetry, and then on top of the butler's pantry, you actually have another kind of goods pantry located right here. As we come over here, we're gonna get to your powder bathroom. And then back here, we're gonna have your first of two full guest suites. So this one's on the main level still. So this would be great for some multi-generational living. Maybe your mother-in-law, your grandma, somebody wants to come visit or they just wanna stay with you. This gives them a very private part of your home and they're gonna have what they need. So you've got the big, big bedroom here and then you've got your guest ensuite kind of bathroom. So you've got the same custom countertop, cabinetry, 
And then you've got another walk-in shower. Real quick, just since I didn't mention in the primary, they put these in the tile as well. So it's not just the wood, they're able to put an actual piece of the flooring. So it is a perfect match. Let's head back. And before we start to go upstairs, let's head into your little bit of a mud room. So you've got these big custom cabinets that are set up kind of locker style. You're gonna have one that's set up as a kind of linen closet. So coat linen kind of set up. You've got drawers on the bottom. You've got a nice, honestly, one of the coolest mud benches that I've seen here. It has the same material as everything else. Some nice modern hooks. Yet again, one big window. Sorry, I always gotta let the garage door close and we get a little echoey, but for anybody that is a sucker for garages, you're gonna have plenty of space here. So you've got the nice epoxy already done. You've got oversized three car garage. You're gonna have plenty of space on the back for shelves, for cabinetry. You choose your own adventure, but you got the opportunity. Right here, you're gonna have your mechanical closet. They did put a tankless water heater in these homes. This is gonna be a media closet. You've got a big bench here right off of your entryway. And we're right back to where we started. Let's go right upstairs. So as we're going, you're gonna see that you've got the nice floating staircase with the same engineered hardwood. At the top on the landing, you're gonna go this way for a bonus room and you're gonna go this way for the last of your four bedrooms. So the first one that we have is gonna be just a classic guest room. So you're gonna be overlooking your entire backyard, all of the landscaping, big windows. You've got a guest bathroom here with a tile surround shower, but with a big tub. Same exact, you all are getting the picture. Quartz countertop, custom cabinetry. Guess what? Two more massive windows. You're gonna have a couple of closets for good storage space. And then we're gonna be in your second guest ensuite. So this room is gonna have plenty of room for whatever they need in the bedroom. Two more big windows. Then we're gonna have quartz countertop, custom cabinetry, and again, one more walk-in shower. And let's head back to your bonus room here upstairs. So again, as you come up, you're gonna have big windows looking out under that kind of vaulted stairway. You're gonna have a big room for shelf for any decor. You're gonna have a nice wrought iron kind of railing. Here, you're gonna have a really large bonus room. So you are gonna have carpet in the majority of the upstairs. This carpet is really low pile, but it has got quite the pad on it. It is very, very comfortable on our feet. And this is gonna take you out to your private balcony. So here, you're gonna have a private balcony overlooking that gorgeous backyard that you have. Again, this was built by Eco Builders, brand new construction, absolutely gorgeous, lush backyard. If you have any questions at all about this builder, moving to Eagle, Idaho, anything that I can do to help, all of my information is down below. And if you liked this home tour and you wanna to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. That way you are the first to know everything you need to know about moving to the Boise, Meridian, Eagle, Idaho area. Until then, watch one of these videos that's popping up, enjoy the view of this backyard, and I'll see you all on the next one.